Hi, my name is Joseph, and so today we are ministering to 10 people, me and Amy, and I just sat down to edit the video, and then I realized Amy had her mic volume off. <laughs> so what happens, every time when she speaks, I have to take the mic on, uh, the volume on this mic, and just bring it all the way up, just so that you can hear. <laughs> but unfortunately, I sat here, and I softly pray in tongues, as I was listening to the Lord, so you're going to hear me pray in tongues in the background. So I just apologize for that, uh, but at least you can still hear Amy speak. Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Amy. So Amy is my oldest daughter and she was so gracious to tell me that she will help me to minister today to 10 people. Uh, so uh, she's sitting here with me. She's not always here. Sometimes she's in Johannesburg and uh, she's writing music and she's really working on her worship career. Uh, she also uh, is at Living Word Church, one of the worship leaders there. And she is also producing music one of these days. You're going to hear a fantastic new album coming out. I've heard about three or four songs already. And it's fantastic. So I'm so excited about the amazing things that God is also doing in her life. Hey, so we're going to minister to 10 people today. Now, if you uh, look at those names and you see, but my name is not on the list. Why not? Then um, I want to tell you what I do is I go through the lists uh, of the previous videos that we ministered to people. And then I just jot down the names of people that I haven't ministered to yet. And then I put it on. So if you would like to receive ministry, just write your name in the comments and just say there, uh, Joseph, can I also please receive ministry? You have to give me your first name and your last name. And then I would love to minister to you in a future video. So I'm going to try to minister every day to 10 people. So I'm sure at some point that there's going to be more than 10 that's going to come. And then um, I'm... I don't know what I'm going to do then, but right now I know there's less than 10, so I can still prophesy to 10 people. We also minister every Friday night and every Monday night live uh, to people, so uh, you can come for that. Also, just write your name in the comments when we're live, and then uh, we'll minister, and usually then we minister to more than 10 people. Okay, so the first person I want to minister to is Thomas Crane. Okay, so Thomas, uh, the Lord gave me two words. He, one, he said, kingship anointing. And the second one was influencer. And so uh, when I was praying, the Lord showed me a studio. And in the studio, uh, there was these uh, black velvet curtains and there was chairs and microphones. And then you were able to go and sit there uh, and speak. But you also were doing interviews with other people. And so I really believe that the Lord is going to give you a platform where you can speak and where you can influence. But I also see that business anointing upon your life. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Christina. Christina, God loves you so much. And, and just while praying for you, um, you know the Northern Lights? Um, and I just, I just saw those vibrant, beautiful lights. And it's like, um, you know, when we worship God, it, it's like we are, there's like a fragrance of worship that's pleasing to God. And I just see that when you worship and spend time with Him, there's just like this fragrance. There's these beautiful lights all around you. And I just feel the Lord says, my promise to you is that I am with you and you will let your light shine. And this is such a beautiful, unique light that's really going to lift up a lot of people's hearts. I, I just feel that right Right now where you are, there's a lot of people going through depression, going through um, anxiety and fear and a lot of chains, um, etc. And I just feel the Lord has really placed you there to be a light um, and to be filled with His, with His faith. And I just feel God is reminding you, do not draw on other um, broken people. The Lord says, draw from me and I will make you whole and I will use you to be a light so other people will come to me and that they will give me their brokenness. So I just really feel the Lord says that don't look at your surroundings, focus on Him. He is your source, nothing else, not even music and all, all these other things. I, I just feel the Lord says specifically, it is Him. So come into His presence because God is going to use you in such miraculous he's already using you in such amazing ways god bless you okay. thank you christina god bless you so the next word is for ori okay. so ori uh, the lord showed me very clearly strategy that you need strategy um and you know you need strategy but it's as if you uh sit 
uh, you just get like the, the first little bit of the strategy and then you immediately want to run with it. And I felt that you just need to sit and you need to get the full picture, the full blueprint from A to B. To Z, the whole story, what God wants you to do, get the whole strategy. That's the one thing. Then I saw a tree that was close to our house, uh, but it had a lot of branches that wants to fall off, and it was uh, um, uh, just uh, causing debris around your house. And I saw uh, someone, the chainsaw came, and it just cut off all those uh, big branches uh, at the bottom and clean off the tree, and then suddenly. Um, it didn't make such a mess anymore so that's the one thing and then the Lord showed me a harvest of because of uh, continuous giving and I just saw like this cycle you give and you get a harvest and you give and you get a harvest and you give and you get a harvest and so it's even, even if you would stop giving today you would still for years and years keep on giving getting harvests and I feel uh, as you keep on giving then your family and your children and spiritual children and people in your life that you are blessing to is going to keep on getting the harvests because of all that giving that you've done over the year and so the lord is so proud of you but the lord is not going to keep, uh, stop giving you seeds because you are a giver god bless you and this next word is for Amanda. Um, the picture I should saw for you was chess. I love chess. And I, I see how, you know, I, I've seen some games where people would like start in the middle of the game and they're like, just, they just get there and it's like the middle of it. And I just feel that's where you are right now. You just got into a middle of the game and you're like, okay, that's, that's where those people, that person's pieces are, here's my pieces. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm crowning you with wisdom and understanding, but specifically I've given you the Holy Spirit that's going to guide you. And the choices that you make will not be your own choices, but through God. I just feel the Lord says, I'm lifting up that pressure off your soul, your shoulders for the situation. And then also uh, I mumbled soldier, but uh, and now I, that's the second picture I saw for you. I just see how God is knighting you to be just a woman in battle and I just feel how God says that it is joy it is not anger so the things that are making you feel like you need to get angry or you need to be like so serious I just feel God is lifting you up in joy and in peace but God has called you for war and that you will raise up righteousness and purity and it will be a, just a God it will give you a voice of love so just abide in his voice Amanda God is so proud of you and I, I really want to say God is with you God loves you Hey, God bless you, Amanda. Uh, so the next word is for Amanda Owen. Uh, so uh, Amanda, what the Lord was showing to me uh, was a, a backup system. Now, here in South Africa, we sometimes run out of power. And so everybody's got batteries and we've got inverters. And then uh, when the power is on, the batteries get full or you can use solar panels to fill up your batteries. And then uh, in the evening or when the power is off, then you can again get power from those batteries. And I just see how the Lord in the natural is helping you to get a, a backup system for your life. But then I saw the same things happening in a spirit realm also. How the Lord is filling you up with His Holy Spirit and with His wisdom. And so when you get into a flat spin or when you get into a panic, then there is a stability, there is a steadfastness, there is an inner strength that the Lord is giving to you to stand in those moments. Amen. This next one is for um, Jeanette. Jeanette, God loves you so much. I, I just really feel how God is clothing you with His glory and how God has given you this, this patch of like a garden that you need to steward and look after. And I just see how you really, uh, and God is just really specific with you. Don't do everything. I've just given you this to focus on. And I feel like you've been really going out to other people and helping them with their gardens. But God says you need to focus on yours. Um, so that can flourish and you can overflow and I just feel how the Lord is really telling you what to do how to sort out your garden and then when you and then soon it will expand but I just feel the Lord says don't worry about the future don't look back in the past don't look at the people around you um, you are a giver and you're called to be a mentor and a leader you are but the Lord is just reminding you to focus on this patch of um the, this garden that he's given you and I just feel God is really going to bring so much expansion and so much fruitfulness into your life God loves you so much you are very very special to him God bless you 
uh, Jeanette, God bless you. So the next word is for Latifa Kutsia. So Latifa, the Lord gives me first a word about your beauty and how He is making you beautiful and how He is cleaning you and He's washing you clean uh, by the blood of Jesus. He's not only just making you physically beautiful, but He's making your past, your, your inner self, your spirit man, the thoughts that you think about of you. I just see a cleansing and a beautifying that is uh, doing in your life and then the lord gave me the word purity and he said to me that you are pure i'm making you pure you're standing before me pure and so you don't have to feel for one second that you cannot come before the throne of god that you will be rejected but the lord says come to me because i've touched you with that call and you are pure and beautiful before me wow that was amazing God bless you. This next word is for, um, am I pronouncing your name right? Natalia. Natalia. Natalia, God loves you very much. Uh, I saw a picture of um, this camera. And uh, this camera was like in bits and pieces. And you needed to um, bring it together. And you had two options. Either um, have the patience and build this camera. Or buy a cheaper camera that's not really going to do the job. Not really going to give the quality that you need. And I just feel how the Lord is going to give you that wisdom and that patience to build up this camera even though it's going to take time but it's going to give you more quality photos and it's really going to help you with your assignments so i just feel god is saying don't take the shortcut don't take the thing that looks like the quickest and the cheapest i just feel the lord says it's gonna take time but the the product and and the um the fruit that it's going to bring um the results that it's going to bring is really going to be a, be a blessing to you so i just feel the lord says have patience and know that i know what i'm doing and i'm and and i'm with you in this whole process while you're while you're building this so i just feel the lord is really reassuring you right now and then lastly i i just, I just saw how you were like in this empty dark room um and then it was like okay you're like lord what should i do now and i just saw god is giving you strict instructions pull down those curtains let light come into the room and i just see how you let light come in every single area of your life and your family's life everything you laid at the feet of god and that light brings so much transformation and it's like everything becomes like diamonds when it's exposed to this light so i just feel the lord says i am just shining my glory on you god loves you god bless you hey awesome thank you natalia so the next word is for polina Polina, uh, the Lord shows me creativity and I see how the creativity in you uh, get exchanged for resources like finances. So I think you're going to do some creative work and then for that creative work you're going to get paid for it uh, and you're going to get really good at it and that means also your, your income is going to increase and the, and the Lord says I've given you so many many gifts so don't settle for that mundane work where you don't use your creativity uh, open up your ear maybe you're going to take a second job that's more creative and then that will become your third job and then the mundane job will later on go away so i just i just see a, a, a change and a blessing that comes because of an open gate of creativity uh, 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 connections to you but i just see how the lord is just coming with his bolt cutter and he's cutting all of them off and you stand there and you just happy and independently blessed in your life amen god bless you paulina and i i just really also feel there's such a motherly um softness and softness and kindness in your heart and i really feel you really touch a lot of lives this next word is for tanya tanya god loves you very much and i i really feel how the lord is is um I just see how you're in his arms and how he's holding you and he's embracing you. And Tanya, God has really given you a voice of worship and a voice um, to sing his songs and to sing his love over people. And how God has blessed you with his compassion. And Jesus had compassion over people. People were healed. And I just feel that there's just a healing compassion God has placed in your heart. And then I see how you're in the situation and there's a lot of, you know, when there's like a lot of wires and they all tangled up and you and 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 it's like when they're tangled up they do get damaged and i just feel how the lord is really um bringing so much order to the chaos but he's also bringing restoration because you know when we detangle wires and then all of a sudden they have bumps and there's problems and 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 i just feel the lord says that he's doing such a work of restoration and it was like there was this other person or 
that that didn't steward the situation so well so God has lifted up the assignment and placed it on you so it feels a lot heavy and a lot of pressure but I just feel the Lord says lean on my yoke for it is light and I'm giving you the anointings and the blessings for this and and just just know that right now in the situation God is going to bring complete transformation so just stay close um, to God and be in his arms and his rest Tanya God is a big assignment for you and I just feel the Lord says I love Tanya I trust her she is my good and faithful servant God loves you hey, Tanya God bless you as a family uh, me and Amy ministered now to 10 people uh, we loved ministering to you so uh, I'm going to sit um, uh, and look at the comments uh, if someone writes their name in a comment and say Joseph can I please receive a prophetic word then I will schedule you on one of our lists of 10 again that we minister to uh, and we all minister to you. So uh, the Lord has called me uh, probably in 2019 and he said very clearly to me, people are going to need personal prophetic ministry. Now I've uh, already started prophesying to people in Christian International in America in 1999. That's when I went to go and get activated with Christian International and Bill Ammon uh, with their prophetic teams. So I've been prophesying for years and years to people. And so then uh, probably a year from around 2015, I said to myself, I'm not going to prophesy to people anymore. I'm just going to activate people. That's going to be my, my job. But then um, four years later, the Lord changed my plans for me. And he said to me, no, I want you to minister to people because people need personal prophetic ministry. And so uh, for me, it's a, uh, it's a it's an honor uh, to be able to minister to people uh, and I hope you are blessed so if you would like to receive a word just write your name in the comments I also want to encourage you um, uh, I I have quite a few uh, YouTube channels I'm trying to build all of them I don't always get a chance to post everywhere uh, but you'll see on the first comment of um, the the comments I've, I've put in all the, the channels and all the sub subscription links. Would you please just go and subscribe to all my channels? It will really bless me. I want to bless you through prophetic ministry. You can bless me by subscribing to all of those channels. Okay. So, um, and also write me a comment. Hit the like. Uh, if the Lord puts it on your heart and you want to donate finances, you can click on the PayPal link and you can also give in that way. We love and appreciate each one of you. God bless you.